Welcome to Barrett News Channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and follow us in Instagram and Facebook. Baltimore Ravens linebacker Jalon Ferguson was found dead last month as a result of the combined effects of fentanyl and cocaine, according to a report. A spokesperson for the Office of the Chief Medical Examiner confirmed the cause of death to the Baltimore Sun. The agency said the death had been ruled an accident after an autopsy. Initial reports suggested that the 26-year-old's death was being investigated as a possible overdose prompting Ferguson's family to issue a statement to ask the public to avoid speculation. Jalon Ferguson's family tries to quash rumors surrounding Ravens linebacker's death. We wholeheartedly appreciate the calls, text, and post of support from his many friends and fans upon learning of his tragedy, the statement said. Despite the speculation in earlier reports, at this point in time the case of Jalon's death has yet to be determined. This is one of the darkest moments in our lives, and we are still utterly shocked. We ask that you please respect our privacy as we navigate through this difficult time. The Ravens declined to comment on the results of Ferguson's autopsy, telling the Baltimore Sun, our priority is focused on the man Jalon was and the positive impact he made on so many as a father, son, fiance, friend, and teammate. The Ravens selected Ferguson in the third round of the 2019 NFL Draft out of Louisiana Tech. He played 14 games during his rookie season and had 31 tackles, 2.5 sacks, and a fumble recovery. In 2020, Ferguson played in 14 games and had 30 tackles, 2 sacks, and a fumble recovery as well. In 2021, he only played in 10 games and had six sacks during that season.